Cancer. This can be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's have a look and see what's coming up for love. What cards come in for you, Cancer? Okay, you've got a marriage card here. Some of you might be getting proposed to or getting married or entering a partnership which has long-term potential. Um, you know, it's a really kind of celebrating love and unions. Some of you might um, be meeting someone who's already married or has had marriage in their past or has had a long-term commitment. But fire breeds passion and infatuation and, and, and celebrating love and definitely brings a lot of passion here. So um, physical attraction, maybe, yes, but it does have um, a symbolism here, I guess, paired with the justice card, which can be legalities of a binding legal union of some kind here. So some of you um, children and marriage is coming up either around your relationship uh, or someone who's coming in emotionally around you has had these things before or might want these things with you um, but there could also be a celebration where you meet someone new an event a social event a gathering of some kind even an introduction where you meet someone um, so look out for those events here cancer because it could lead you to romance and love or at the forming of a relationship the king of cups represents the depth of emotion that we can feel now, he stays afloat on this ocean of emotion, if you will, on a stone slab throne. So essentially, he's mastered his emotions or there's someone who's feeling very certain about you. King of Cups, to me, represents someone falling in love. So if it's not you falling in love here, Cancer, it's someone else falling in love for you. Uh, the, the formation or the bonding of a very strong attachment will take place here. Um... Again, I feel like there could be a potential distraction in this lover's union. And what I mean when I say that is because these knights are here. It's either a relationship is forming for a lot of you, but it's not forming at the pace you'd like, or there's too many distractions. Either a lot of things are coming up at work. Maybe this person lives overseas. Maybe this person is in and out of your life a lot. There's some sort of distractions here that are preventing you from making it quite serious. And that's not to say there's not potential for that to happen. There absolutely is. And of course, each situation will be different. But the King of Cups here represents that there's a lot of emotions that are potentially being felt by both parties or by at least you. Um, an Eight of Pentacles is really working hard for someone's attention. Now, it could be an Earth sign here, Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo, who's working very hard to um, commit to you and give you stability. But there's someone, you know, the Seven of Pentacles is often seen as a very contemplative card here, thinking very seriously about life, thinking very seriously about how far we've come in a situation or in a relationship. Um, some of you might be wanting to break it off with someone. Six of Swords can definitely be symbolic of a journey, moving away from someone here. For a lot of you, it's either the start of a new relationship. It's all very exciting, but... And it could be very, very new, but for some reason, there's um, it's either through feelings or something that this person is doing that's making you feel deeply connected to them and that's making you want something very, very serious with them. And maybe you haven't felt this way about someone in a long time or maybe you haven't ever felt this way about someone, but that is or, or could be potentially coming up around you during that uh, during this month. Um, but Six of Swords can also be a journey into improving the situation. The boat in this picture can definitely symbolize steadfastness and protection, also movement and progression, um, and moving away from murky, rocky waters into something more calm and clear and peaceful. So for some of you, there is a new chapter in love where you will be able to celebrate your love together and go into something more peaceful, provided you both work very, very hard at overcoming the obstacles that come up, that often can come up in relationships. Uh, for some of you, there could be a work romance that's starting to blossom. I, I don't know if the confession might come, but there's something here. There's something in the works or there's someone that has you thinking about them very, very deeply. And you might know them through your career. Could even be someone famous, someone that has a reputation or some sort of influence over the larger community or the world even. So that could be coming up for a lot of you or multiple offers in love. There could be a trip. Okay, a trip might bring romance. You might be reconciling with someone on a trip, on a holiday, or even relocating to live closer to someone, or someone relocating to live closer to you. 
could even be a long distance thing here for a lot of you Cancerians watching as well. But for the most part, I see attachments forming very beautifully with the King of Cups. There is no one higher than the King of Cups, at least not in the water realm. So uh, this is someone feeling very strongly or very certain about you. This is the fact that the stone thrown flows, floats above water indicates, you know, it's, it's quite intense, um, fantastical even, because it's a little bit unrealistic, isn't it? The fact that the stone uh, thrown could be able to float here. So could be someone that's fantasizing a lot about you, Cancer. You're fantasizing about a future. You might even be thinking about seeing someone as marriage potential here, even discussing marriage. Uh, let's have a look at career and finance, what cards come out. Okay, you might be chasing or seeking perfectionism in your career because the hermit is the Virgo, the perfectionist of the zodiac here. Um, he also needs time to reflect and branch out on his own. So some of you might be taking time off from work. Um, something, an idea that you've had or something that you've wanted to change might be met with resistance here because the seven of ones can show disagreement, um, lack of disagree, uh, dis, uh, lack of agreeability, I should say, uh, maybe even a little bit of dysfunction that may cause some sleepless nights here. The Nine of Swords is seen as anxiety, woe and worry, things keeping us up at night, thoughts, words that were said or not said in career or a conversation that might take place that will sort of leave you guessing a little bit. There's not much clarity here with the Nine and it might be coming from an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There could be a little bit of vagueness. The Nine of Swords does sit fairly closely to the Magician, which can sometimes alter the way we see things to suit our pleasure or to entertain us. So there could be someone... Maybe pulling a few strings, pulling your leg a little bit maybe. Um, indecisiveness comes up with the two of wands. Yes, it could point to an overseas work opportunity, um, taking care of another territory, having the world in your hands, connecting with foreign people, places, um, international company members, um, or even different departments. Um, could also uh, be the case here for you. Or indecisiveness. Could even be a little bit of back and forth with the two of ones in between two different locations here um, jumping between two different ideas and not making a solid union again the fact that multiple knights have come up indicate there's a lot of different opinions three knights three cups if you're involved in a collaborative environment that has three of you um, or if you have two or three people reporting to you cancer there could be a bit of um miscommunication but then you know, you sort of work through that. But some sort of judgment call is going to need to be made and everything is going to have to be put out on the table. It could also be a great month for socializing and building network, um, networking uh, relationships, social relationships, professional business relationships, because the Three of Cups can be seen as a card of um, utilizing and taking advantage of events and, and things like that to really um, build your profile um, or help build your online LinkedIn page or put in a good word or help increase your reputation as well. Um, but there is independence. The Hermit and the Magician are both very independent. They both have their own abilities. The Hermit is the Guardian, the Protector. The magician is the performer. Um, so there could be something here that you've been working on or will start to work on. It's an independent thing somehow. Or you might be starting to work with either a Libra, an Aries or a Virgo uh, potentially during that month. Could even be a um, three of you coming together to form something as well. Now there could be a bit of a mishap here where you might be held accountable. The seven of wands tries to deflect a situation so there could be um, something here that needs to be addressed or someone needs to be held accountable. Um, and it could even be like legal disputes, like workers' compensation. You might be wanting to dispute something, Cancer. Maybe someone in the company or someone that works for you might be wanting to dispute work ethic, um, incentives, jurisdiction. Maybe something that might happen in the company here as well. Um, 
and I guess the Knights have that task of going back and forth and that back and forth also has come up in the with the two of wands so I'm guessing there could be a bit of back and forth in a workers situation it could even be a thing of should you stay or should you go you might be in two minds about a situation and maybe you're not sure yet maybe you need more time the hermit has all the time in the world to think and assess and analyze so maybe it's showing here that you need time to think or reflect on a situation before you jump into anything the seven of ones can be impulsive as can aries energy which is known for being hot-headed impulsive and ra um, irrational at times so i'm not sure if there's a situation that could arise where you'll be irrational or someone will react very irrationally um when really the hermit is, is sending a message here that there needs to be time and patience applied to this um, somehow. But it could be an extremely busy, extremely busy month. A lot of tasks, a lot of errands, a lot of different clients or customers, deals, employees, could even be new employees coming on board. Um, absolutely. Uh, and they might have a different way of doing things or you might have to single out some time some one-on-one -on -one time to spend with someone here either training them speaking with them learning from them there could be that sort of situation that arises here for you cancer as well so something to keep an eye out on um but look i will leave it at that and hopefully we shall be in touch very very soon so take care and bye for now cancer